Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from Li Pao. This is their Z1 series portable 15.6 inch 1080p Type C display. Uh, this is a 1080p display at 15.6 inches. Uh, it is IPS, so you get 178 degree viewing angles, and it does support HDR and has built in speakers. We're going to dig into this now, and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's go over everything that you get. You get the main unit and you do get a cover which has a magnetic portion to it that doubles as a stand. You do get a user guide and an FAQ, uh, so hold on to these. It is uh, well laid out, written in English, and it is not microprint, so you will not need a, a microscope to read it. It will tell you uh, the specifications. It will tell you how to hook up to different devices such as laptops, or uh, phones or tablets or whatever you're going to be using this for. Now it does give you some wet wipes here and some dust absorbers or dust stickers because they do include a 15.6 inch uh, screen protector that you can choose to use on this if you want to so that's included with your purchase. You do get two cables here. You get a USB Type-C to HDMI so that you can hook up any HDMI source that you want, say like a gaming console or um, a Blu-ray player or whatever you would like. Then you also get a standard USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable uh, for uh, data management, maybe hooking up to your phone or your uh, laptop or whatever you may be using. Now you do get a power cable here. This is a USB type A to USB type C power cable. And they also give you a power brick as well. Now if your device is powerful enough to uh, push enough power to uh, do the monitor on its own, you do not need this, uh, but they do give you this because some devices do not allow enough power to be pushed from the USB type C. So you can use this uh, for both. And I will explain that a little bit later once we have everything hooked up, the differences between using power and just using a single cable. Now we do have this cover and this is a magnetic cover, which is really nice. It doubles as a stand uh, with two kind of little positions here uh, for angles for the actual uh, monitor itself, which actually works out pretty nicely. If we take a look at the uh, monitor itself, again, 15.6 inches, uh, IPS display, 178 degrees of viewing angle, so you're not going to have any problems uh, with viewing angles. Uh, you do have two USB inputs here. One is only for power. The other one is for whatever device you're going to be hooking it up to. Then you have a, a volume up and volume down buttons with a menu button slash power button in the middle. On the back, you do get two speakers. Uh, you can kind of see the speaker grills there to the left and to the right, uh, and they are rear facing. So expect them not to be super powerful, but we're going to test those a little bit later as well. So speaking of the stand, again, if you take a look here, uh, it's got uh, two little notches at the bottom, uh, so you can kind of use an angle. It's got a magnetic clasp at the top here, and you're going to want to position that between the two speakers right at the top. And once you have it there, uh, you've got uh, a pretty strong magnet at the top that is going to hold this in place. And then we have two angles uh, on the front uh, that we can use to either put this in one position uh, or another. Uh, so you have kind of like more of an upright position and that's kind of a, a set angle, but uh, it's better than no stand at all. So I'm actually kind of uh, impressed that they included a stand with this. Not only that, but it doubles as a screen cover as well. So that works out pretty well. Okay, so now I've got this hooked up to my uh, Samsung uh, Tab S8 Plus, and you can see that it's uh, super responsive, no problems there whatsoever. Very good color reproduction on this. Uh, it's got some nice colors that definitely pop uh, for using things like DeX as a second screen uh, or a larger screen, then that's actually pretty cool to have here. Again, you could use this with pretty much anything uh, that'll take HDMI or USB Type-C, so you can use this 
with uh, a gaming console. You could use it with the Nintendo Switch for a bigger screen. Uh, there are a lot of applications for this. And of course, if you're using this with a laptop or a PC, then you can use this uh, for uh, a, an extended screen or a secondary screen as well. Uh, so that actually works out pretty good. And you can see the colors are really good on this. I'm going to play a video from my channel here, uh, the YouTube video, and you guys will be able to uh, check that out. Uh, and you'll be able to see a few of those things in just a few moments. Now, I do want to check out the OSD. Uh, you do have an on-screen uh, setup here where you can go in, set to brightness. You can set up uh, other things such as your color. Uh, you do have your red, green, and blue there that you can set, uh, your aspect ratio, your languages, uh, the transparency, and the timeout of the uh, OSD. And then you have your volume because it does have two speakers in the back here. So we're going to set that all the way up uh, to kind of give you an idea during our volume test here uh, of how these speakers actually perform. So we're going to do that as well. Uh, and then uh, we will uh, go through and give the pros and cons on this uh, again at the bottom, you can see we do have a couple other things that we can select here as well as our source. Um, and we can also enable HDR. This does support HDR as well. Uh, so if you do want to use HDR, you should probably just leave it on auto. And then if you're playing back any HDR content, uh, it will do that for you. So there you go, that's playing a 1080p uh, playback from YouTube. And you can see that the colors are really good. Uh, again, they did a great job on color uh, representation on this. Uh, I did not have the speakers turned up that loud. We're gonna do a separate test in just a second so that you can hear the speakers and exactly how loud they can get. Well, let's talk about sound. Now I have this hooked up to my uh, S22 Ultra Samsung phone here. I'm going to make sure that the volume is at 100% on the phone, and it is also set to 100% in uh, the uh, setup here. And we're going to play a music file for you guys so that you can hear the sound quality. Okay, so that gives you a good idea of what the sound quality is like. And it's actually pretty good at 100%, even though you have uh, speakers that fire away from you on the back. Uh, as long as uh, you are... Uh, you know, pretty close to the monitor, which you should be, you're not going to have any problems. Now, it is lacking a little bit in bass, uh, but other than that, uh, it uh, does a pretty good job and gets plenty loud. So we don't have to worry about the sound on this uh, either. Now, as you can see in the lower left-hand corner, I am hooked up uh, with two cables, uh, one to my phone 
and then one to the power, uh, the USB-C uh, power is the one on the bottom here. If we unplug this, the phone will still work uh, or a tablet or your laptop or whatever as long as it uh, can supply enough power. And the S22 does that and you can see that it automatically sets the brightness at 30%. Uh, had the brightness at 100% uh, when you are just using a single cable uh, you are limited to up to 75% brightness so if we go in uh, to brightness we can set this to 75 and you can see it's still plenty bright even just using a single cable and powering the display from uh, just your device so there's 75% if I was to go over that it would actually reboot into th and then reset it to 30%. So 75 is what you can do with the single powered device, be it my tablet or my phone, uh, but it works out really well. And even at 75%, it's plenty bright. Now, if you do need that extra brightness, then you're gonna want to uh, plug this in and use two cables, but you can use this as a one cable setup, which is really nice for portability. So there you go, that's my review of the LiPal Z1 series, 15.6 inch USB Type-C portable display. And it is nice and portable. If you get some extras with it. You do get that magnetic cover uh, that will act as a stand as well. Uh, it does have built-in speakers that do the job. Uh, so you shouldn't have any problems with that. And the actual IPS display that you get here, although it is only 60 Hertz at 1080p, uh, has really good color reproduction in my opinion and works great for gaming or videos or whatever you're going to be doing uh, with this as a second screen or just a larger screen for your device. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review and I'll check you guys out on the next one.